All right, here we go. Episode 11 of our Descent Legends of the Dark series. I've been saying In the Dark for 10 episodes, and I've been completely wrong. I don't know how I misread that. Anyways, hey, I want to say first off and foremost, thank you for all of our YouTube members who support this channel. Um, this does take a lot of time, energy, and money, and your support tremendously helps this channel. So thank you so much. Um, if you want to become a member, you can go on the front page of the... Uh, site and do that or if you want to just subscribe because you like watching these go ahead and hit that subscribe hit that thumbs up hit that bell and without further ado let's go obviously the first thing you're going to do is you're going to prep and prime your miniatures scrape off a couple of nasty mold lines like i've said before these miniatures are fantastic and there's not a lot of mold lines on them they did a great job and i prefer painting miniatures of this quality rather than crap miniatures with some of my favorite games have uh, i'm going to be using an airbrush um, which is going to be a black primer from vallejo and then i'm going to use a zenithal highlighting from above just using white you can use spray cans if you have them Obviously, make sure they're Vallejo, Army Painter, or Citadel, or something comparable to that. As we've been doing throughout this entire series, we're going to be doing the base first just to get it knocked out, and we're going to be using contrast colors from Citadel because it makes it easy. And if this is your first time at the channel, or if you're returning, obviously you know we want to make things easier because we have four of these miniatures to paint, and we want to save time because time is the most precious thing we have on this earth. You can argue other things, but that's my view. Um, so we're going to be using some Basilicanum Gray on that rock, and then we're going to be using some skeleton horde on those fangs or whatever the depths of Satan that are coming up. For the dirt we're going to be using some Agaros dunes and that's going to be our basically our dirt color. If you want to throw in some green, some Militarium green or Orc flesh or Greed camo, you can do that as well, but we're just going to kind of keep it simple just to kind of move things along a little bit. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of a dry brush of Dawnstone on that rock just to give it a little highlight, nothing crazy. This is pretty much optional. If you want to go a little bit lighter, you can use um, a Ministratum Gray or, or Thurium Gray if you really want to. With the base complete, and that was pretty easy, we're gonna be moving on to our base color. So our skin color, we're gonna be using some Rackarth Flesh. So just follow along with what I'm doing and just get all of those nice little skin tones in there. And it should look something like this. Now you can notice with the zenithal highlighting, you can see some natural highlights already, and that's exactly what we're looking for. For all of our bone areas to include the horns that are on top of our Blood Witch's head, um, and our bones that are sticking out of our knees, elbows, and our fingertips, we're gonna be using some Morgast bone.
For our skulls and our little knife, bone knife, we're going to be using some Wrathbone. If you get some onto the wraps, it's not a big deal. We're going to paint over those here in a minute anyway. Now comes the most tedious, longest part of painting these four miniatures is going to be your cape, um, the front portion, and the wraps of this miniature. This is going to take a little bit, so I'm using a bigger brush on our biggest, bigger surface areas, and we're using corn red all over this. So use your smaller brush around the wraps and just follow along as you have the bone knife, the hands, the legs um, to work on while you're doing this. And that's what it should look like completely finished with the corn red. As a last base color, we're going to use some Rhinox hide on the hair. And we're going to use that corn red again onto there's a little piece um, that's like a hair knot in our ponytail of our miniature. All right, now the base color is done. We're going to do our normal wash. We're going to do a 50-50 mix of Kerberg Crimson and Nolan Oil all over our red areas. For the rest of our miniature, we're going to use some Agrax Earthshade. Give it that nice earthy look on our miniature and while we're letting that dry why don't you head over to um our instagram which is nerd.nights and subscribe over there as i'm always posting future miniatures that are coming up Now we're going to start the reapplication of the red, which is the focal point of this miniature. We're going to be really focused on the face and eyes and the red. That's what's really going to stick out. People aren't going to really look at very much other things on this miniature as that red is the dominant color. So we're going to do a reapplication of corn red and we are going to put that over the raised areas, not getting any of this color into the recesses. So take a small brush. I'm using a size one brush and just kind of start going through that and getting those raised areas.
After you're satisfied with your corn red, if you want to do one, two, or three layers, depending on what you want to do, I only did one, um, we're going to take a 50-50 mix of Mephiston red and corn red, and we're going to do the same exact thing we just did, going over the raised areas of our miniature. For our last highlight of red on this, we're going to take some pure Mephiston red and just picking out certain areas of the raised cloth. Not all of it, just certain areas that you think the light would hit if it was directly from above it. Um, so I'm just picking out a couple of areas, doing a little bit on the tops of our wraps and a cape that is kind of flinging in the wind. And just going through a couple of these and making a little bit more brighter red, but nothing crazy. For our skin highlight, we're just going to take some of that Rakhar flesh, hit the nose, the cheeks, and a little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the chin, and we're going to kind of highlight just a little bit up with the legs and the fingertips of our miniature. To highlight up a little bit of our bone areas, we're just going to take some Ushabdi bone, which has kind of a Morgast bone base color to it, added with some ivory. Um, we're going to take that and hit the tips of that area, those areas just a little bit, and not overdoing it, just kind of just hitting those edges just a tad bit. take it just a little bit further, um, we're going to take some Screaming Skull and hit those skulls a little bit and our bone knife. If you want to use this on the tips of our horns, you can do that as well. For the eyes, we're just going to put a little bit of Evil Sun Scarlet in there, just make a little eye droplet. I didn't put that on camera because couldn't get the right angle. We're then going to take some Nolan oil and we're going to put that in the eye sockets. Now you don't want too much. I know I put a lot in there but I'm going to dab some of it out of there just to give it that nice ring around that red and then we're going to reapply our Evil Sun Scarlet once this is dry as a little bit of brightness color to it.
And your favorite part of painting the miniature, we're going to do the base. Which you're just going to do an Abaddon Black. If you want to do something else, you can. And we're just going to paint that rim nice and easy. Be careful not to get it onto the painted base that we already did. And that's it. Not a lot of steps, nothing crazy like usual. It's just time consuming because you got to do four of them. And those red robes and wraps do take a ton of time. So that's what's going to suck up most of your time on this miniature. But it looks pretty good. It looks perfect for the table. And that's all we're here for. Not trying to win any competitions. We're just trying to get this dang thing on the table. So thank you for watching. If you are not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Check out our YouTube membership program. And uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, paint on.